legend of the game coming out of the pits here. One of the staples of the era. One of the staples of monster trucking as a whole. Jimmy Cretan's bounty hunter from what? Two Extreme Racing coming out next. And that thing is a beauty. I've always loved Bounty Hunter too. You cannot hate on Bounty Hunter. I actually have like a random core childhood memory of like buying a Bounty Hunter Hot Wheels toy while at Kmart with my grandma. Yeah, Kmart, ladies and gentlemen, with my grandma probably 17 years ago now. What a great time to be alive. Let's give somebody else a core memory here with some sick air, and I think we just did. That was monumental. We'll give a nice little beating to the van stack here and fling this thing back around. Try not to touch the concrete. We don't want to get DQ'd out here. I'm not going quite that far. I will do a little cross thread, though. We don't come down too hard on the nose. Right down on the sponsorship, the arena sponsorships. Shout out. Get your money's worth today. Flinging it down the racing lane. That thing really isn't doing anything for anybody, is it? I really got to put an obstacle on there. I should put a camper or something on there. I'm worried the camper's going to just break the game. There's a lot going on here already. We might... We might really implode. We have crashed this game before getting a little too overzealous with the add-ons, so you gotta watch your back here. But we're gonna watch some sick air. As 30 seconds are left, we gotta let it all hang out now. Get the vans out of my way. Should we set it right back up again? Walk it up? Oh, that's a beautiful walk. Just a wheelie where we crush the crap out of those things. Absolutely smoke. That worked way better than I thought it would in my head. I had no idea what to expect there. Now we'll just come fly it back the other way as time expires. Getting all out of shape. Should we bang something out here real quick? Time's gonna expire, but we gotta throw it into a donut or something if we don't flip it over. I think that should do it. We might actually get out of here with a truck still intact for once. Can you believe it? That's actually pretty believable for Bounty Hunter. Unless like a wheel would break off or something, they'd usually take pretty good care of that stuff. So we'll do the same. We'll actually be able to drive one back in one piece. Hopefully we can say the same about the next one. All right, everybody, clear the lane because it is time for Chris Hansen's favorite truck to come grace us with its presence. And I could not be more happy about it because it's another one of my favorites too. Definitely probably slots somewhere in the top five. This being Alan Pizzo's world famous Predator and it will not be taking a seat anytime soon. All right, time to prey on some cars here. We're gonna sling this thing around, get a little bit different approach to get this started. We're gonna take a bite out of the bus. What do you say? We're walking right over top of that thing to get it rolling and right into a medium sized slap wheelie all the way across the floor. That's what you love to see and I think I wanna air it out after that. Why don't we just go for it right over top? A little uncharacteristic for Predator, but I don't care. We gotta let him watch this thing. Got a little bit newer of scheme than what would've run at this time too, but we don't care. We're gonna cross thread this thing up the other way because this didn't work last time. We're gonna make it work one of these times. Smashing those vans down too. And still driving out of it. Predator making an early impression over the pyramid. And we got a stack waiting for us on the backside for the combo. As always, we're gonna send this one into stands again if we're not careful, and there we go. Just bonk the head right there, no big deal. Perfect for Predator. Can we work this into a reverse move? Can we get it up here in reverse? Is the real quick? Oh, we're just gonna glide it with the greatest of ease up there. Simple, yet effective. And with 30 seconds left, we can't be fooled around. We gotta get this thing, what? Uh, we had a pretty good run so far. How do we get this to go even better? Do like a perfect super cross level jump there. That didn't exactly go how I planned it, but we work with what we get. That's gonna hurt the tailgate. That's gonna be a spine check. My window is falling out. I'm gonna get hit in the face with dirt. This windshield's gonna be very helpful. Oh, there goes my hood, there goes my face. I just ran it over. We are gonna have one hell of a fiberglass build now and that is pretty much gonna do it. We'll let the clock expire. We'll drive one out. This was not the body to be tearing up. Oh man. Well, bad news for our next contestant here. Somebody stole your gimmick. We already had like two trucks just about fly into the stands today. So we don't really need you to do it now. And if I were you, I'd be mad. I'd be, I, that's gimmick infringement in the wrestling world. I'd be in court, I'd be suing. But instead, we're gonna be slinging this willies all around the track. And we're gonna try to keep it inside the park for pity's sake. Have we ever space forced a monster truck before though? Because this would be the perfect candidate for it. We might have to just try it right here. Try something a little different to open this thing up. To get us on the clock. <laughs> Mounts that thing on each back wheel there. We'll just try everything, hitting everything at weird angles. Why not? That ambulance is not going to be doing any rescuing, and we might need it, too. I don't trust Captain Skirts for a minute. This thing, this could go flying off the handle at any minute. 
Who was even driving it that day? Was it Pablo Huffaker? I feel like it was. He was always behind the wheel of these awesome, like, race source chassis trucks. So I'm going to assume it was him. And we'll try to channel some of his energy here for the rest of this run. Because it's, it's going good so far. We got good mo. We're going to get the pyramid. Get some big air there. We're going to totally clear it over that Ford logo. I'm even going to dream about touching it. And then this one, it probably wouldn't do us any good in the willies. Nice little sky wheelie again. Can we walk it into a wheelie right up the ramp, maybe? All right, we have a super wheelie going over this thing. We're all out of shape and gathering it up. And getting this thing spun around. That's how you make an impact here. What can we do with the bus? Get an all kind of weird whack run at the bus. What kept it together? All right, 20 seconds left. Might as well just keep trying weird hits. It keeps working. We'll try this little crush car hanging off the side that's gonna act as a backflip ramp. And we're gonna land it. That might be the greatest thing ever. Some crush car we just shoved off to the side is gonna give us the most beautiful move of the day. And we'll ride it out with some donuts as the clock comes down to zero. What a run. That's what I meant by you can't trust Captain's Curse. It'll just come out of nowhere and bust a backflip. Like years before anybody was really doing, I don't know, they were, maybe they were just starting to do backflips around 2008. It might have been the next couple of years, but come on, Captain, we gotta get you back to the pits. Well, that Ford logo on the floor out there is about to get a lot more fitting with our next truck being the built Ford Tough Blue Thunder, another one of my favorites. We even got the old school one, a little bit newer of a model than what would have run in 2008, but all the same, still a badass automobile. There's the power up and there's the pyramid getting pounded. I'm sure we'll keep these flags flapping throughout most of this run here if we can help, but it shouldn't be too hard to do. And there's something about a good dual flag setup that really gets my heart pounding, along with some monster air, of course, and some crushing combos right over the cars. Because these flags are flapping around doing all kinds of crazy things. We gotta make a little thunder though. Let's make a little noise over the middle. Why don't we go for the big one? And a nice one right over the middle, and we landed as clean as you can. Ford getting their sponsorship dollars in, and it's paying off right now. I'll tell you that much. The corporate sponsors back in Detroit are going to be very happy about this. That's what we should have done this. Should be doing this inside of Ford Field. We could at some point. That does exist in Beam, but we got about half a run left still. We got to focus on what's important, like airing it out over the pyramid and comboing it right into the next stack. We're just turning it, I mean, it's not even much of a stack anymore. It's just kind of a, a speed bump in the bus and forget about it. Cleared it entirely. We're going to slap it down for the wheelie. We're looking great out here with 25 seconds left to go for Blue Thunder. And I think this is about where we got to start trying something different. Let's crawl it over the pyramid here. And we got to try something on the side with this crush car here. Just gas it up. We're going for another backflip just about. And we're just about going to land it too. And our hood's getting caught up on our wheel. What in the heck? It finally frees itself, and now I gotta try to answer that. What do we do? We just gotta smash something into another backflip that's actually gonna work off the bus. How did that happen? That was not supposed to be a success. Blue Thunder, you absolute beast. We gotta give him something here. We gotta give him a little donut on the way out. Who would have thought that that little crush car add-on to the side of that middle ramp would be oh so rewarding? Well, as we get down to our final four trucks in the lineup, Taz is up next. And Taz has quite a reputation around here. Last time we used Taz, we ended the run with only two tires on the truck. So prepare yourself because this could go a lot of different ways. And I think we're just going to tear it down like only a Tasmanian devil can. But not before we pump up the crowd a little bit. We're almost through the show, people. I've been going at this for so long, I'm starting to get delirious. So let's just try to convey the craziness on the track. Just going to send it super high, super uneven, a little squirrely on the landing, but gathered up. Tasmanian Devil gonna be a lot of unorthodox hits like that one right there. The bus looking like another prime candidate, and it sure is. We're gonna be lucky not to break something on this run, but you know what? That's kind of what Taz does. That's kind of what we do here. We might rip the whole body off. We might rip all four wheels off this freaking time. Let's try what the pyramid can do. Let's try walking it over here. Oh, I got caught on the car, too. That thing almost ate me alive. That could have been really terrible. We're hitting wheelies over stacks now. Let's see, we gotta switch things up with Taz. We gotta do stuff different. As you can see, we even got a fresh RV out here that we're gonna have to work with in a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't absolutely implode my game because it's been known to do so in the past. So as we space force ourselves over the little van stack, we gotta do it. We gotta do a little R&D on the RV. Let's go smashing right through it. Put it down, put it in three pieces. Now we gotta air it out. Let's just go cross thread. Perfect ramp to ramp. You couldn't do it any smoother if you tried. 
with like 20 seconds left. I'm in these vans again. I don't even care. I'm going to ride this wheelie all the way to the bus so I can help it. Come on, bus. Oh, my God. We got launched. We're going end over end. Gather it up. Gather it up. No, no, no. Write it out. Oh, we almost wrote it out. That is a perfect Taz finish right there. We're going to have about five seconds left on the clock from where we stopped. What a run. Come on, buddy. Get back on your feet. We ripped all the ears off. The face is gone. This is a sad scene for Taz, but does it start? It does indeed. Is that even a question? They build these things stronger than death, literally. And look at my face just laying on the ground over here. I'm going to run it over or try to at least. Come on now. Come on. There we go. I was about to have a problem with that. We can't even get over our own hood. Now I got to have some kind of win out here. Well, huge air should be absolutely no problem for this next truck. The good old U.S. Air Force afterburner is up next in that big blue Cadillac body that we are about to go send. Flying with another set of dual flags on the back. You know that's what we love to see. So let's see how this goes, because this truck is truly another staple of the era. We're going to slam these vans here to start. These things are taking a beating from all angles at this point. No love for the vans. We'll save that camper that we reset here for a minute because I figured out those are breaking my replays, but they're not actually crashing the game. So there are some casualties out here. And all that means is I can't get crazy shots. I mean, doing stuff like this later on, but that's okay. That's all right. We will make do with what we got and hopefully not roll it over on the concrete, which we almost just did. Instead, we'll power past the pyramid yet again and maybe combo it up. Should we try a little two-wheel stuff over here? I think we should. That didn't really go anywhere, but I like it. I like switching it up. Although I also like hitting the classic set of crush cars and just sailing it over it. And then sailing it into a big old wheelie out of nowhere, out of the exit of that thing. That was nice. Held on to it for a little while. Didn't hit the wall. How about we hit the racing lane here? Just show them a little power. Show them a little bit of what the Air Force is all about. And it would probably be a little bit more effective if we did it over here. So why don't we? Why don't we take this camper down for all the armed forces out there? I'm not much of a military guy. I don't really come from like a military family, but I know the Air Force is apparently the one to be in. If you've got the brain power, which I don't, by the way, I'm doing these hits right now, as you can see. Hit them all. Hit them all with the cross -trade. Hit the huge air. 10 seconds left. How do we finish this off strong? We got to do something. We got to fly high for the people of the Air Force. Come on. There we go. That's a monster air to finish that one off with double zeros. I got to do one of those over the middle. I don't care if the clock just expired. Matter of fact, you know what we gotta do? We gotta do one more send for the people of the Space Force. Let's do it to them. Can we hit a little end? Oh my God, my truck. Holy crap, we killed it. After time expired too. Why did we do the coolest move of the run after the clock ran out? Come on, Air Force. We're gonna get a medal or something for this thing if we can try this out of here. I don't think we're gonna be able to though. The whole front end is hanging on by a thread. This is not good. That was that was worth it though. Worth every penny. That was priceless. Well, two trucks are left and take a wild guess what they're gonna be. It won't be too hard to guess this one because you're looking right at it. Maximum Destruction is on a mission to make it into the stadium. And judging by the way things are going, that might be hard in itself at this point. We don't know. But we do know that Maximum Destruction lives up to its name the overwhelming majority of the time. So let's get to it. More times than I can even count, I have seen Tom Mintz have to tear it down from this position in the show. And that is exactly what we're going to do if we can keep it inside the stadium here. We're almost going over on the concrete again. Let's keep it on the dirt. Let's keep it on the surface. And let's keep it all the way in the air. Huge air, huge hang time, and we're going right back to the concrete. I would be getting shut off for days out here if this was the real USHRA out here, but well, thankfully, it is not. And the USHRA got it. They're the dust at this point. Who even knows? Just like my spine's going to be after we make some of these landings. Because we are hitting these things hard and weird, and that's about all we can do now. Let's just fly at them. Fling the truck. In fact, I believe it was Kurt Busch who once said that he was going to get flung like a booger, and that's pretty much my game plan out here as well. And we're going to prove it right now with a little bit of cross thread. We're going to get just over that bus. Keep it on all four wheels, and we lost the wheel. Man down. We have maximized our destruction, our own destruction. Can I even get up from this? I need that little button for old people that says, help, I've fallen and I can't get up. What the hell? Why, why can't I think of the name of that thing? Life alert. Somebody give me a life alert right now. We're going to life alert on this thing. Can I get up here with three wheels? Oh, my God. We can forget the life alert. I'm good. I might be better with three wheels than I was with four somehow. We're going to be better at a donut. I know that for sure. As the clock's running out on my life here. That is going to do it. 
Oh, maximum destruction. I almost feel like I let you down in a way. We're shedding that wheel off. Kind of neutered the end of our run, so we'll just ride that <laughs> until we can't see straight anymore. Uh, we even got a split right down the head of the destruction mascot in the back of the truck, and I can't. I'm crashing into the stadium walls out here. This is getting all bad. This is getting worse by the second here. We better go grab that last truck. Who could it be, folks? Who could it have ever possibly been besides the icon? There is only one way to finish these shows off. And that's by bringing out the biggest, baddest one of them all. Gravedigger is on the scene. I promise you one thing. Well, next time we do one of these, I won't end with Gravedigger, but it's just too easy to do. It's too cheap of a pop. All right, let's do it for Dennis. Air it out. Let's be a menace for Dennis and do this thing right. We'll end the show the only way I know how. Maybe we'll even do a little encore afterwards if we can keep all four wheels on the wagon, which hitting big air is not going to be the way to do that, but we got to do what we got to do. We have to do something here. The icon is in the building. I'm going to try to even mimic some of that Anderson throttle control. We're going to try to get, though. I couldn't even get four wheels up the ramp here. We're about wrecking, hitting simple moves, but that's okay. I want, you know what? Let's line it up for some crush cars. Let's keep it simple. Let's just air it out again. Let that Jolly Roger flap in the wind. Keep it off the concrete so I don't flip this thing over in the dumbest way possible. Should we try a cross thread? Should we try coast to coast? Ramp to ramp? We're going to totally clear the bus. Not even a question. Come on. A hidden huge moves out here with half a run to go still. Let's whack the ambulance again. That thing's going to need its own ambulance called the scene after the show it's been through. Let's, let's bring this baby back. Let's try our little... Let's try something right here. We didn't get anything off that car. That car did nothing for me. This went sailing off into the sunset, but that's fair. That's all right. 20 seconds left. We got to finish strong. We got to just sail this thing at some stuff and see what happens now. Yo, we got an RV over here. We got a camper still standing. We got to end it with that. That might be the perfect bow on this run. We'll be seeing you. Now, will this rip a wheel off me? No, it won't. We ripped that thing apart, and that is where the double zeros will arrive. Maybe one last hit in. Well after the clock, but we got Encore on our hands unless we roll it right here. We almost did. Oh my God, I just saw my life flash before my freaking eyes. I was talking such a big game about an Encore, we almost wrapped it up immediately. But now we got some time to burn it down. We'll cause some chaos here. This is not for a score. This is just for all the freaks out there that want to see something get absolutely wrecked like I do. Which is okay. It's perfectly medically healthy and normal. See if we can try this again. I ought to get something working on this. There we go. Said to take it a little bit slower. We knocked that crush car back into the position a little bit too. Let's see. Let's see if that thing just falls right on down. I don't know if it's gonna stay up there anymore, but we won't worry about that. We'll hit that pyramid smash. That thing down. We're gonna get all turned around. We're gonna maybe lose the truck. Can we save it? Gas it back onto the wheels. I haven't been doing too much of that because it's not really error appropriate, but that is a fine note to end it on. Let's park it right up here and let the people take the pictures. Get a good look at a hoodless grave digger that just put on a hell of an encore and one hell of a show all together here in Houston, which is now in the history books. How about it, folks? How'd you do it? Get your scores in the comments below. I'm definitely gonna need some help with this one because I can't even begin to tell you who won or who was the leader or who scored what, but I know some of you kept track of that, I'm sure. So let me know down below who you thought got it done and put on the best show here today. And while you do that, that's about where we're gonna wrap it up here.